We're using 1 Corinthians 13 as our jumping off point to share about love for this round of devos. Love is patient, love is kind. This week, love does not boast. Now I start off each week with some foundational piece about biblical love. And I know some of you are thinking, great, another Devo on God's love. But you're not really thinking, great. You're thinking, I've heard it all. Now we realize many people have heard about God's love. But what I've discovered is that few people really understand the depth of God's love. Even fewer live life as if God's love has really invaded them, as if they've experienced God's love. Some will think a message on God's love, well, that's poetic, that's great, neat, right? But they don't necessarily feel like it's personal. Some hear about God's love and man, that's inspirational. But they don't think it, about it as being transformational, that it actually changes their life. So no matter where you are in your spiritual journey today, my prayer today is that this week's Devo will not be just poetic, that they will be personal. That these devotions this week will not just be inspirational, but that God's love will be transformational in your life. Because again, we live in a love-starved world. I, again, we see it every day in the news. People growing up in this world are not getting any better or sweeter. They're getting more bitter and more violent. Love is sought out by everyone. And while the world looks for love in all the wrong places, the followers of Jesus, the church, man, this is our time to step up. Because Christ followers, we're all about love. The exhortation that we have is to love one another. That appears more than all others. So when Paul talks with churches, the bottom line, it's always love. After writing to Colossians about the many virtues that Christ followers should have, Paul then adds this in verse 14. He says, and over all these virtues that he just listed, he says, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Peter, the apostle, he agrees. He says in chapter four of his book, verse eight, above all, love each other deeply. Why? Because love covers over a multitude of sins. Now, I know some of you probably grew up in a legalistic background. So to be a good Christian, you had to avoid the nasties list, right? Better not do this, better not do that. Oh, better not ever do that. And so you had this list to follow. And you're proud when you follow that list. Now, typically the list is human made. In fact, Jesus, right before he's crucified, he pulls some of his closest followers together. And this is what he says. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. And he says, by this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So Christ, he calls his followers, every one of them, to love one another to engage in some very specific activities that will bring about the commodity that there's just too little of, love. So when you love others, it's going to be a display of God's love. As you open your heart to God's love, as you align that with your life, with His ways, He's going to begin to fill you up with His love as well. But again, we're not to be a container of love, just to hold things together. We're a conduit of love. I'm not just soaking in love for myself. I experience God's love, it changes, it transforms my life, and then I become a conduit of God's love. It travels through me to someone else. So we're driving this home because again, the Bible is very clear, love is action. In fact, in that love chapter, 1 Corinthians 13 that we're looking at, verse three says this, if I give everything I own to the poor and even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've gotten nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. James, the half-brother of Jesus. Chapter two, dear brothers and sisters, what's the use of saying you have faith if you don't prove it by your actions? And so I'm praying that God's love transforms you this week and you love like Jesus and that people will know that you're one of his followers by the way you live your life, and the way that you love one another. Have a great day.